Living and growing up in, uh, in, in Italy definitely had an impact on my, uh, on my whole experience of being uh, physical. Um, Italian is, Italy is a very intense um, uh, environment where all the, sen the feeling, the sensation are very expanded, amplified. So definitely it was quite uh, impactful to be in such a rich uh, environment. My connection with music it was uh, purely um, intuitively. It was it was coming from intuition. It was coming from uh, from some place, some mysterious place. So um, when uh, when my closest family noticed my my tendency to go towards the music, they actually for a moment entertained the idea of. Uh, me having some lessons or learning something, but I felt immediately a resistance towards any kind of uh, um, education. Uh, it seems like my, I almost hear this voice, my, my ear self is that you already learned this music some other times and this time you don't need to do that, <laughs> you know. And so um, it's almost like I, I, a part of me really wanted, wanted to maintain a, a, a state of pureness, as, as much purity as possible when I, I approach myself towards music, so that I can have an, an, in, an innocence, a childlike kind of approach, where uh, I, I just become a, com a container. Um, music is the fastest conduit to my to your higher self to our higher self uh, well pers first of all that's my personal perception that might be not true for somebody else but um, my uh, my uh, sense about uh, the idea of music is that mm, we are we are coming from sound we are coming from vibration our vessel our blueprint it's just vibration so uh, naturally, music uh, is the the conduit that immediately take us where we came from, um, and that's what I meant when I said when I said that music is the fastest conduit to um, to our higher self. Music for me is the is just the the best way to go back home. And uh, music for me is um, is a way to um, expand my sense of self, and then as a um, as an extra bonus is is the opportunity to um, to uplift uh, the audience or whoever is going to listen uh, in order to uh, provoke and and actually I would say. Um, support the, um, the process of awakening that right now in the planet is occurring. The role of music uh, is, has always been uh, um, a, the, a way to connect with our part of self that is uh, wider and bigger and, and knows it all. And at this time, uh, it's particularly, to my opinion, it's particularly important. I think musicians really have um, a high level of responsibility because with, uh, I believe that with music we really can um, um, trigger um, our, the, the, our heart opening process, which is basically the female part of us that needs to be awakened um, as part of our journey to the next level of uh, consciousness. Yes, the divine feminine energy, um, it's, uh, I think, is, is really crucial for uh, our journey in this uh, brief physical uh, time that we are sharing here in our planet, I think it's very important that we really activate our female energy at this point. We have been um, driven by a, very much a, a male-oriented world, 
uh, and it served us well because it took us where we are right now. Uh, but now it's really important that we um, allow our innocence to come out, our uh, uh, vulnerability, to um, our intuition, and those are the the typical uh, ingredients of the female energy. Whether you are a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Is the female energy that really needs to uh, come up, come out and play. How do I approach writing music? Um, it's really, uh, for my, in my personal experience, the process of uh, composing music is uh, it's a very mysterious one. Um, I really, literally, do not know anything about it. And I really want to, somehow, it feels like I want to keep it in that way, because by not, know, don't, by not positioning myself in a situation where I know, in that situation I can reach that pure innocence which is the best state through which uh, I would say the higher self express itself through, through us. Uh, whether you're a musician or somebody else, when you are in that innocence, childlike vibration, that's the moment where the greatness of the universe can really fully come down and play with you and, and express. So in a few words, you, you become a container, an empty container, where you, you, you are in a situation of no mind, you know. And then from that situation, things come out. But it's a very mysterious, uh, unpredictable um, situation, and I, I, I don't have control for, uh, of it. The inspiration uh, for my music, um, it's always uh, very constant. It's just a, a profound sense of love a profound sense of oneness with everything that exists, whether humans or children or animal plants. Uh, it's just this uh, wonderful sense of communion and connection with Earth. Uh, and from there, uh, the creative process uh, gets started. Unfolding Secrets is uh, is a part of um, a vision that I had since I was a little boy. Uh, and uh, this vision, again, is motivated by this dream is always about uh, creating uh, uh, oneness with, with the power of music and um, creating music that carry a message of peace, of love, of joy, of passion, um, and that being able to share that kind of uh, um, experience with globally with uh, with as many people as possible. I uh, I saw first time uh, Christine Hoffman on Facebook, uh, and um, I was curious about uh, the energy that she was uh, exuding. So. I kind of uh, went to see her work, and I, I immediately uh, realized that the, her vocalist uh, approach as a vocalist was um, something that probably could work well with what I was, I was about to do. So I contacted her via Facebook, and I introduced myself, and I shared with her the music, and I said, Christine, if, if this music resonates with you, uh, we should try to do something together. And, and obviously, it did resonate. <laughs> uh, my singing uh, was really uh, coming from a, almost like a survival need. So I, I, at a certain point in my life, I left Italy uh, and I went to America to expand my dreams and my vision. and. Um, as a way to um, uh, pay my bills, I started to sing, um, although I never really uh, saw myself as a professional singer. I usually, in the past, I used um, my vocals as part of the creative process, as a way to create melodies. Um, so I started to, uh, to sing and play in, 
in different locations in, Lo in Los Angeles. And actually, uh, uh, unexpectedly, the, the whole um, career as a um, cover singer, international cover singer, grow uh, to a point where I was doing actually very well. And so with that uh, stream of income, I was able to continue my um, more intimate music and, and develop uh, album after album. And so um, to build a, a library of music and now is going to be finally exposed. Sounds of Oneness is the, 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 the ultimate vision, the ultimate, dream, the ultimate dream. Since I was a little child, um, I knew, uh, there is a part of me that knew uh, that uh, I was, uh, I had to create this, uh, I had a call to create uh, an, a profound experience uh, in order to uh, support uh, our journey, my personal journey and everybody um, every, every, everybody who resonates to, to what I have to offer. Um, so Sounds of Oneness is, um, is basically an experience that uh, combines uh, uh, music, sounds and, um, and other beautiful um, uh, devices like um, sacred geometry, um, colors, lighting, uh, movements. Um, so that, that is what is my next um, uh, step uh, is going to be. Uh, particularly the communion of sacred geometry with music uh, uh, will uh, be able to create um, sort of a vortex of energy among both the musicians and the, um, the audience. Um, it really has the ability to, um, to open a portal and um, open the chakras, open the heart. So I'm really looking forward to, to that uh, production. Um, my musical background, um, well, when, uh, when I came to America, I started to sing and perform uh, and um, I um, was high, I get to the point where I, I started to get hired by celebrities, uh, by um, high profile situations like corporations and uh, big weddings, big parties. But I, I was providing commercial music. Uh, I would sing in different languages, uh, famous uh, tunes uh, from Italy, from Spain, from Latin, from French, um, and also a lot of American tunes. Um, it, it seems like um, my I had to walk through uh, an extensive period of time where I had to get a costume with uh, this vibration, this particular uh, earthy vibration, um, in order to be uh, become a match to the vision that I was carrying since I was a little child. And so I have to pass through all those um, uh, challenges that we all pass through. Um, and um, and uh, so here I am right now. It seems like uh, that, that uh, phase is completed and now we are ready to, to manifest what has been uh, um, in a sort of an incubation time for, for quite a while, since, since actually the very beginning of my existence. Music has the ability to uh, instantly uh, dissipate uh, the idea of separation. Uh, that is the most powerful um, thing that the music has to offer. To, to this planet, because again, we all come from sounds. The whole existence is, is a big, sif big symphony. Um, so when uh, we, we as humans have been in a in sort of in an artificially created reality uh, that um, promoted the idea of scarcity, um, the idea of separation, um, and um, 
I believe that at this time of tr big transition, music will play a, a major role in uh, helping humans to um, pass through uh, the necessary cleansing process in order to go back to the sense of oneness, that the, the idea of oneness that we truly really are. My uh, biggest hope for um, the audience to experience uh, is, um, is, is a completely open heart. Uh, again, a, a complete sense of oneness and uh, peace and, uh, and joy that it will inspire them to um, finally acknowledge the, the gift that they carry within themselves and, and inspire them to bring it up because that's what we are here for. That's the only way for us to, to, um, to get to a better place uh, is to really de to ex taking responsibility for our gift. So I really hope to inspire people to do that by expressing my own gift, which is music. How do I choose my, the team I work with? It's really a um, resonance. That's how I select uh, people. It's not actually my selection. It's just um, I believe that uh, eventually, uh, in the near future, everything will be established by resonance. Because sounds, we are sounds, and so resonance is what should be the, the major factor for people to co-create together. So uh, by resonance, people feel um, what I have to offer, and, uh, and they want to be part of it. And, and that's how uh, the creative process uh, expands. To me, uh, um, existence is, is music. And we all come from music and from sound. And what happened in this planet is that we have been, because we have been involved in a situation that is not natural to us, we are kind of a little bit out of tune. And my, um, my biggest hope is to be able, through unfolding secrets and sounds of oneness, to create an environment where people can tune back to the orchestra of, uh, of life. Uh, and that's why um, it's called Symphony of the Heart. Unfolded Secrets is part of the, the vision uh, that, I, that I had since, since a little child. Um, Unfolded Secrets hold the frequencies, uh, the ethereal frequencies, the, um, uh, the frequencies of the heaven frequencies. Um, the next step it will be to add to those frequencies um, the sounds of Earth, more earthy experience. And that's where we'll blend the analog um, instrumentation, which represent the Earth, the vibration of the Earth, with digital sounds, which uh, carry on the essence of the stars, that is, is the cosmic uh, sounds. And at that point, uh, we will create an, a, a potentially an awakening experience, because the, the process of ascending is not just going up but it's actually going this way, going up and down simultaneously. And then uh, creating a dance between digital sounds and analog sounds will uh, facilitate that process. Offering a mirror, um, everything, we, we, uh, we perceive reality, and, and reality truly is a mirror. Uh, of, of uh, our vibrational offer. So reality responds to our vibrational offer with specific shapes and forms. Um, uh, when it comes to music, um, I will, we will create a, a frequency that will um, raise the vibration so that the mirror that we, which we will be reality will be substantially expanded and we will really be able to see ourselves for what we really are.
The idea to start uh, the concert with the toning is because uh, mm, by having everybody, both the, the musicians and the audience, tone together to specific frequencies, we kind of uh, establish a, a, a strong connection. So there is eventually the idea is not is to eliminate the separation between oh here's the audience and here's the musicians by toning we we embrace it all to to one experience and and from there we can start the journey of uh, sounds of oneness We have been uh, hearing a lot uh, in the last uh, 20 years or so about sound and healing. Um, sound is, uh, it creates that uh, spaciousness, that's necessarily no mind field. Uh, but when you combine sound with melody, because melody is music telling you a story. Melody is creating the emotion. So when you combine the sound that open up your, your and, then, and then the melody comes in, then you, that trigger the emotion. And uh, emotion is energy in motion. So within ourselves, we have a lot of stagnant energy that we have been uh, holding. And the concert, the music, wants to give people permission to allow this emotion to come out and liberate themselves from, from this uh, heaviness. Uh, so uh, for that, combining the sounds of ethnical and um, world uh, uh, shamani and, uh, and uh, um, other uh, healing technique, adding to it a, a melody, I, I think is going to be a very exciting experience for all of us.